Hello everyone, Genesis Writer here, and today I'd like to discuss a few things. Um, this will be my first video in a series of videos labeled uh, Dash Genesis Thoughts. If you see any video with that in the title after the obvious title of the video, Dash Genesis Thoughts, that will be a part of this video. Um, this will not include Halo gameplay or much of any gameplay by that means, um, and so if you're looking for that, um, those you can find in other videos on my channel. Um, these videos will be more centered around um, interesting topics that you guys want me to talk about. And for this first video, I just decided that um, there were a few notable things to mention, kind of vlog related sort of things that are going to be happening. Obviously, the Xbox One will be releasing tomorrow, or uh, in uh, 34 minutes for me, it will be tomorrow, as it will be midnight 34 minutes. And so I wanted to just talk to you guys about a few things regarding that whole situation. And... Um, there's a lot of things that will be happening on this channel when that occurs. One of the main things that I have researched and realized is that my um, capture card will, um, and my capture card is what captures my gameplay so I can post it to YouTube. It's very pivotal to me being able to do that. Very nice capture card, the Elgato Gaming capture card. Just type in Elgato Gaming to Amazon, and there it is. This capture card will work with the Xbox One. Um, it is confirmed. Um, what's interesting, why people were freaking out, why it maybe wouldn't work, is because the video stream would be encrypted. Um, what's interesting is if I play uh, Netflix on my Xbox 360 and I try to record my videos um, or my movies, you can't. Um, I tried it just out of curiosity, and it automatically encrypts the video signal, so your capture card cannot um, capture that. It's very interesting stuff. So anyway, my capture card will be working with the Xbox One, and seeing as I will be getting it tomorrow, yes, I know this is a bit of a surprise for some of you. I told some of you that I would be not getting the Xbox One um, until Christmas. And for many of you out there, that may be what you have to do, because it's, well, it's half, half a grand, um, more like $540 of with tax added on. And that's a, that's a hefty chunk of money, and I don't expect everyone to spend that amount. And hopefully, where the content will be going on this channel, where it will be moving towards, is a place you can come not only for Halo content, but, on f but for tips and tricks on the Xbox One. And I have not ordered any games for the Xbox One yet. I have pre-ordered Destiny. Obviously, that's Bungie's next game. And I will definitely be playing that on the Xbox One, including the beta on the Xbox One. And... This channel will be heavily geared towards Destiny. Um, however, for you Halo fans out there who come to my channel mainly for Halo tips and tricks videos, I am well aware of that, and I want to keep you guys in the loop. I don't want to just leave you out to dry. I will consistently post a tips and tricks video at least every week, um, definitely up until Destiny or the Destiny beta or Destiny come out. Then I will be posting much more content on or about Destiny. Now one of my YouTubers, um, subscribers actually, asked a question, and that is, um, why can't I find mature, good Halo players in Halo 4 right now? And I just want to give you a brief rundown. For those of you who are not familiar, I'm just going to give you a really brief summary and rundown of why that is in Halo 4 right now. Currently, as as currently as this video was posted, there are more people playing Halo 3 online than Halo 4. This is largely due to the fact that Halo 3 was free for half a month um, recently, and a lot of people have the game for free, and it's a really good game. Um, those obviously boost the numbers quite a bit, but what you have to realize is that Halo 4 has been on a massive decline since the game first came out in terms of online popularity. And let me just give you some numbers so that you understand. And realize this is not me bashing Halo 4. This is me trying to bring you guys up to speed. For those of you who are unaware of the current situation or predicament, for us Halo YouTubers out there and how hard it is. Um, after Halo 4 came out, um, several months afterward, I think it was six to eight months afterward, um, less than 10% of the population that had originally bought Halo 4 was playing the game online. This is astronomically staggering. 
And um, to be blatantly honest, very, very saddening. Um, even after the June 3rd update came out and fixed the battle rifle, increased the movement speed by 10%, and fixed a lot of the loadout weapons, still people did not come back to the game. And um, that is for a wide variety of reasons. Um, I won't go into a whole lot of them here because I feel like the topic has been overhashed to a point of ridiculousness. I like Halo 4. I like it a lot. I like how fast-paced it is. I think there are some things in the game that don't belong, but I don't sit around all day complaining about it. I just play the game and try to help others get better at the game. Um, I think that's really all I can do at this point. And um, I feel that some people are really, really reacting positively to that. And I really appreciate those of you who watch my videos trying to get better at the game. Just please realize and conceptually realize in your hand in your head that getting better at Halo 4 means you'll be better at Halo 5. Um, Halo 4 is a great game to practice on right now, um, as a lot of the pro players have left the game. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Major League Gaming, I'll just give a brief idea there. Major League Gaming is a very, very popular um, eSports, basically games for tournament money. Teams sign up and everything of that nature. I've kept it with it consistently. They had one Halo 4 tournament at the beginning of Halo 4, before the, a few days before the game was even released, before never having a tournament for Halo 4 after that. It was Halo 4 was subsequently picked up by another league called AGL, Arena League Gaming, which has recently disintegrated. Um, and the, play, the people who were leading AGL were not paying out the team. So when a team won the tournament, um, they were not receiving their money um, three to four months after the tournament. And um, this is a really consistent thing that MLG did. They always played their players on time. Yes, it may have been a month or two or several after, but they were always consistent with that. And AGL um, disintegrated. So this has led a lot of pro players in the competitive community, which that's something you may not be aware of, to leave the game. Um, and this is critical to keeping the community alive. If pro players are playing the game, then people, then there's more content being produced on YouTube and there's overall more popularity and drive to play the game. This is a complex thing that I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details simply because the bottom line is if there's more competitive pro players and more money going into tournaments for your game, way more people are going to be fracking playing it. I think that's just an obvious fact. Um, and that's why the decline of the game has been so steep. Because so many people have left for other games. I don't think the Xbox One and PS4 coming out is going to help anything at all. Um, but I just wanted to mention to you guys that so you can coherently understand what's going on. I feel like there's a real um, lack of knowledge and understanding. If you want me to talk about this topic a little bit more and give you some in-depth details, just let me know. Um, any topic that I mention here in this video, just let me know if you want me to discuss it specifically in detail, trying to jump from thing to thing. So, moving forward, as Gandhi would say, um, moving forward to the Xbox One release tomorrow. I will be getting it. I ordered it off Amazon.com several months before it even came out, and I originally intended to receive it for Christmas as a Christmas present and have some people in my family pay it halfway or whatever, and I pay the other half, and that's just how it was going to go, but that's not going to work. I realize that my YouTube channel is strictly based upon uh, gaming content, and since I will be getting the Xbox One, your YouTube channel, one of the top tips that I've ever heard, was to be on top of new release launches. People really gravitate towards someone who's really on top of when things release. If you have the newest, latest thing on your channel, that's really important for getting viewers and subscribers and things of that nature. Now, um, this sounds like a uh, <laughs> that I'm trying to get more, more views and more subscribers, and that's true. Um, but the ultimate core factor here is that I want to discover the Xbox One and what it can do and get people up to speed as quickly as possible. Not ruin experiences that they're going to experience in the Xbox One and spoil you know, game storylines. That's, that's not 
a purpose here. The purpose is to increase your knowledge and fundamental understanding of the games and the console itself. I have several questions straight out of the box of what the Xbox One can do. Here's just one brief example. The Xbox One controller that you get out of the box. Is it a wireless controller? I think so. But can it turn into a wired controller? Is Are there going to be separate wired controllers that I could buy? Now, we may be able to already answer this via online forms and stuff of that nature. But I'm really curious to answer those questions for you guys. I'm going to be making a video when I get it, not just unboxing, because that's kind of boring. You can look up that pretty much anywhere. But specific detailed answers to questions that most people don't seem to ask themselves, which is, as you can tell from the previous content on this channel, that's what this channel is kind of about, is really getting you to think about concepts and things inside of the game that most people don't typically bring up. Now, some people have asked me what games I'm getting for the Xbox One, and I, I haven't decided on that yet. Most people are getting Call of Duty Black, Call of Duty Ghosts, and the Battlefield 4. Uh, if you haven't realized already, Battlefield 4 um, will double its player count per game on the Xbox One. The Xbox 360 can only handle 32 players, Xbox One, 64. Insane game. Amazing. Phenomenal. If I wasn't playing Halo, I would totally play that. And the reason why I will not be getting the game is not because it's not good, but because I haven't been keeping with the series all up to this point, and because I don't have people on my friends list who consistently play that game. I am strictly structured around Halo, and I have one gamer tag. I've had my entire four or five years on Xbox Live, and I tend to stick with that very, very strictly. Okay, but I will be playing um, some single-player games um, and uh, things of that nature. But in the the immediate foreseeable future, I don't see me getting very many games in the Xbox One for this year until 2014 ro rolls around because they're not honestly there are not very many games on the Xbox One. I'll have to look through the marketplace and see if anything catches my eye. Um, there's the Rise of Rome game and um, the Forza Motorsport 5 and several shooters and things of that nature, but nothing really jumps out to me, like a Portal or a Kingdom Hearts. Um, now, another thing I wanted to briefly mention was the PS4 versus Xbox One debate. You know, oh my gosh, how terrible um, for you to be getting Xbox One or PS4 if you're a fan of the opposing console, right? And I have mentioned this in a previous video. I will mention it again along with a few other choice details. And if you want me to expound on it later, let me know in the comments. If you are buying or choosing to buy a console, you should be buying that console for the games. Halo will come out on the Xbox One, the next Halo game, not the PS4. And one, one, just one of the huge factors for me personally, this is just my opinion, Kingdom Hearts 3 will be releasing for the Xbox One and the PS4. This is huge for me. Because Kingdom Hearts 3... Kingdom Hearts 2 is one of the best games I've ever played, storyline and character development-wise, in my entire life, especially for an E10-rated game. Um, and I will be definitely getting that. Titanfall looks also very interesting, but back moving moving forward back to the... or back to the PS4 versus Xbox One debate, um, with these two consoles... A lot of people will try to lobby specific small individual points of interest with each console. The PS4 has more processing power, you know. The Xbox One, um, you know, they're they're just more geared towards uh, TV and being able to watch movies and stuff of that nature. Um, mainly, this stereotype is um, built around the fact that when the console was first advertised, they did not advertise it towards gamers very well. And this is a universal fact that everyone knows. But if you still honestly think or are concerned about the fact that your Xbox One will always be watching you and things of that nature, you seriously need to start watching some of the more recent videos that have been uploaded to YouTube. Because, as you may have, some of you may know, um, these sorts of things where people freak out over statements like that are one of the more ridiculous things that can ever happen when a console is released. This happened when the Xbox was announced. There were specific, even the Xbox 360 was announced. Spe 
specific things people will take and blow out of proportion. And I'm just going to mention this specific detail to you. The Kinect sensor. The Kinect sensor, right? It's always watching you. Ha ha ha. Uh, it's always on because it's always waiting for your voice to say Xbox so the camera will turn on and then you can use it. Otherwise, how would you, from your couch, get the Kinect sensor to turn on to realize that you're there? It's listening always for you to say Xbox. It's not recording you where the camera is on. Okay? It doesn't make any sense to me why people think that. Um, yes, the camera is on at some points um, to see you, but you can disconnect it from the console now. You know, there is a huge amount of things that were changed for the Xbox One. Um, like uh, the 24-hour check-in. Um, you had to check in online every 24 hours to make sure that you were playing the most up-to-date version of the game. You don't have to do that anymore. Um, you can buy and sell used games now for the Xbox One. Um, I'm startled at, at how few people seem to understand that Microsoft has dramatically changed since the initial release of the Xbox One and their real pushing technology, going for the cloud and all that. They have changed a huge amount of stuff. Back to, um, to, to basically to defer to people who were really outcry um, that they did they wanted to trade in their used games and things of that nature. I don't understand that because Steam um, obviously has been very 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 successful on the computer. So why wouldn't the Xbox want to follow suit with that sort of thing? You can discuss that in the comments below, obviously. Um, but those are just my personal takes and opinions. Um, moving on to Another um, topic, and this sort of dips into my vlog area a little bit, is that I am working over 30 to 35-ish hours a week. And what that means is that some days or weeks, I will have consistent, persistent content on YouTube. This week has been four or five videos or whatever. And that's all good and well. But in the future, when I have, um, you know, just more workload and everything of that nature, um, there may be weeks where I am hard-pressed for time and hard-pressed for making videos. And this is what I want to mention to you. I have finished the Halo 4 Funny Montage, and I will be uploading it very soon. And it's really funny. Okay, I'm just going to say that right now. I really enjoyed it. And ma do enjoy making it. But the Thruster Pack video is something while I have been working on for a very long amount of time, um, compiling all the clips and everything, um, it may have to wait a little bit. And I know myself too well. I'm going to get the Xbox One. I'm going to freak out. And I'm going to play it for a decent amount of time. Even though I don't have a game for it yet. I'll probably get one. Okay? Just saying. I probably will. And um, there's two or three games on my Xbox 360. I have only gotten like one third the way through. And I probably won't ever play those games. And I'm just saying that right now. I, I know myself too well with these things. It, I'm just going to move on to the next console. And the next thing. But that doesn't mean I'm going to leave you guys Halo 4 in the dust or anything of that nature. Um, I just wanted to make you guys aware of this. It's kind of difficult when you have a work schedule, a limited amount of time. Are you going to play an old game or play the new console? Or make a video on the new console or anything on the new console? You're going to choose the new console, obviously. And I just, you know, that should be very patently obvious to most of you. Hopefully. So, um... What other things are there to talk about? Um, I really am looking forward to Titanfall, to Destiny, to Halo 5. Yes, it's called Halo 5. I don't know why people are calling it Halo Xbox One. It's Halo 5, guys. Watch the freaking trailer, or the more recent trailers. They changed the end title at the very end to Halo 5 instead of just Halo. It really, again, due to a lot of complaints over what was the title of the game. It's just called Halo. You know What does that mean? Um, but anyway, looking really forward to those games, looking really forward to play them and post YouTube content on them. So glad my capture card works with the Xbox One. Um, and uh, the last thing I want to mention is about streaming. Um, streaming at, you can find my stream link in the description. Obviously, I do have a streaming channel on Twitch.tv where you can watch me game live. And I would love to stream all the time. Here's the unfortunate part. When I stream, my game capture card captures the gameplay I'm streaming in a 
lower quality. Obviously, I have to stream in a lower video quality to allow the stream to go very fast. Um, and what this hat means is that the video quality is dips in and out. It's cruddy. It's grainy. Um, even the audio blips out sometimes uh, when it's on my capture card. And so my capture card, when I record it to my computer afterwards, it's not it's very it's very grainy and disintegrated and I can't use it for gameplay which means I can't record live quality gameplay and those live gameplays that I've been putting posting to my YouTube channel have not been live streamed on my twitch.tv in fact I haven't live streamed for a while because I've discovered that my laptop is not connected obviously with a wire to my internet it's connected wirelessly this means that I my stream goes black every 30 to 40 minutes. It just cuts out, yeah, the screen goes black, and you know I have to restart the entire stream. It's very aggravating. I recently tested it with an Ethernet cord. Um, the one uh, Ethernet cord I have up here that is over 100 feet long running upstairs to my room, and my stream never went down while using the Ethernet cord. So obviously that's the issue. But that Ethernet cord is going to stay in my Xbox 360 because in my in of course, my Xbox One to provide it with the the fastest internet connection possible. I'm really looking forward to the Xbox One's dedicated servers. What that means is that people won't have host in um, the games. No one will have host. The server will have host, basically. That's a really um, obtuse way of putting it, but basically what it's going to end up meaning is that games are faster online. Even if you have a your same internet connection, the games are going to appear faster, and they have to be because of the graphics being so good and the precision of the pixels and just everything really getting down to a fine science here. I mean, just watch some Battlefield 4 gameplay, just jaw-dropping um, how precise and amazingly realistic everything is. But anyway, I feel like I'm kind of rambling on, guys. Um, I hope you sort of enjoyed this video, and I hope that by providing me with some topics in the comments, in the future, I can go over those with um, Genesis Thoughts videos in the future. Um, hopefully, um, compiling some thoughts in a text file and uh, really hitting each point, not being so random like this video was, and um, uh, hitting those topics so to help you guys out and um, give you more insight into my life or whatever you guys are interested in me answering. Um, I have a lot of knowledge and very willing to share it if anyone is curious. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope that gives you some insight into the future, where this channel is going, what I'm looking forward to, and what content will be coming out on the channel. Um, stay tuned. It's definitely going to be a good season, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Peace, guys. I shall rule the world with my Xbox One power. I'm still recording? Oh my gosh!